friends, it's Renee with the DIY Day here to share with you how I make this mixed media marble paper. For this tutorial, I'll be using Strathmore watercolor paper. It's the 300 series, it's cold press, and it is 140 pounds. I will also be using this palette knife. I'll use this to stir as well as scrape off any shaving cream. I also have a bowl. And I also have my husband's shaving cream. This is the foam kind, not the gel kind, and this runs about $2 at Target. I'm also using some Bria Reese watercolor inks. I'm using medium magenta, pink, violet, lake blue, ultramarine blue, and ocean green. So let's get started. First, I'm going to spray about a half an inch of shaving cream inside the bowl. Then I'm going to add several drops of my Bria Reese Medium Magenta watercolor ink. Then I'm going to add some drops of pink, some drops of lake blue, and some drops of violet. Then with my palette knife, I'm going to gently stir, but not overly blend the mix together. Here's a close up. Now it's time to put the watercolor paper into the mix. Now I'm going to remove the paper with my palette knife. And scrape off the shaving cream and toss it in the trash can. Once the shaving cream is removed, put it aside and allow it to dry for about an hour. I'm going to leave the shaving cream mixture as it is and dip another piece of watercolor paper. And I'm going to scrape off the shaving cream. It's so cool that this one doesn't look anything like the first one. Now it's time to add another blend of colors. So what I'm going to do is spray more shaving cream into the bowl right on top of the purple layer. I'm going to add some drops of this ocean green watercolor ink. Then I'm going to add some drops of the lake blue and some drops of the ultramarine blue. Once again, I'm going to swirl the mix with my palette knife. And then dip the watercolor paper into the mix. Let's scrape off the shaving cream and check out the results. I have to say the blues and the greens really mix well with the purples and the pinks. Let's do this one last time. I don't think I'll ever get tired of this project. The colors are way too pretty and the results are just amazing. And that is it. Thank you so much for following along with my tutorial. For a list of supplies I use, please check out my blog. The link is in the description. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Thank you.